All right, follow me in your Bible now. In the book of Romans, chapter 8. And we'll start at verse 13. All right, give Williams and I some more juice back there. Oh, yes. All right, hear me good. Romans chapter 8, we'll start reading at verse 13. Follow me. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. If ye live after the flesh, if ye live according to your own will. Yeah. That's right. Your own ideology, your own theory, uh -huh. your own opinion, right. your own philosophy, yes. your own thinking. The book of scripture says, if ye live after the flesh, if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. Ye shall die. What is living after the flesh? It is written. It's a dead living life. That's, right. That's what that is. That's right. But a book says she that live in pleasure is dead awesome. while she lives. So living after the flesh is when you have a life that's designed for self-satisfaction. And yet you are pleased and God is not. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. Romans chapter 8 and we're at verse 13. Listen. For if ye live after the flesh. If ye live after your own will. Ye shall die. In other words, if ye live a sinful life. Ye shall die. And look at yourself, you that are here, you that are listening. Many of you fake Christians. <laughs> and you're a Christian because you go to church on Sunday. Roaches spend the night in church. And ain't one of them saying they of Christ. <laughs> so going to church, going to the synagogue, going to the mosque does not do anything for nobody until you submit and totally obey God's order, God's command, God's instructions, God's precepts, God's law, God's expectation. Are you listening? Going to church today has become habit forming. You can find people. Oh, I'm going to church today. What is it? Saturday. It's going to the Sabbath. <laughs> On the Sabbath day. Why? It's Saturday. Sun up, sun down. I was going to church today. What? Sunday. I'm going to church. I have to get my time in. Give God some wish up. Wish up is bigger. They come into a building. The true meaning of wish up is a lifetime commitment of obedience. That's right. Are you listening? That's true. The true meaning of wish up is a lifetime of obedience because you are obligated. You are committed to the Lord of creation. Listen. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. If ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit. If ye through the Spirit. Do if more, ye through God. Do mortify the deeds of the body. Through, do mortify the deeds of your body. Ye shall live. Hold it. Hmm. Mortification doesn't set in a body until the body is dead. But notice the language of scripture. But if ye through the spirit, if ye through God, do mortify the deeds of the body, do mortify the deeds of your body, ye shall live. You will have life. Notice how God work opposite from what you expect. Now, as I said, when a body is dead, mortification sets in. The body slowly deteriorates. But God wants mortification to set in us while we're living. That's right. That's right. Mortification set in the dead body. It starts getting hard, stiff. Eventually, the body starts to deteriorate. That's right. But the dead body submits itself to the mortification. For ye are dead. Hold it. <laughs> it submits itself to the mortification. A dead body does not fight off mortification. Why? Because a dead body will is gone. Are you listening? 
Now swing it in, Williams. Now in Colossians chapter 3 and verse 3. That's what? For ye are dead. What? Ye are dead. Ye are dead. And your and life, your living, is hid. Is hid. With Christ. In, with Christ. In God. Hold it. So just like a corpse. Yes. Goes through the stages of modification and deterioration. God wants you while you are alive. While you're alive. To be mortified. Yes. Mortified, therefore. Mortified, therefore. Your members. Call it. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When a corpse body goes through the transformation of mortification, yes. stiffens uh -huh. and start deteriorating. God wants. You to be stiff in him. Yes. Mm. What do you mean? Upright. Right. Firm. Right. Solid. Right. But he also wants your will to deteriorate. That's right. Until you become the living dead. Right. Living by God's will, yet dying to your will. That's right. That's right. Are right. right. you hey, listening? So what is it about self that God want to experience mortification? He says, what about the members? Mortify therefore your members. Hold it. Amen. You see, your lips got too much life. And your lips is a member of your body. So God wants your lips to be mortified. Mortified. Shut up from lying. Yes. Shut up from cussing. Stop your smoking. Stop your drinking. You men, God wants mortification to set in your lips so you won't even want to kiss another man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Are you listening? That's right. The book of scripture says what? Mortify therefore your members. Mortify your members. Now let's look at your nose. Mm. He don't want you to snork in anything. That a real range of behavior that act in a way opposite from the way he created you. For he said I made you for my glory. Mortify what? Your members. Go to your eyes. Hallelujah. Until Jesus said, if your eye offend you, pluck it out. Right. What do you mean? Don't pluck out your natural eye. But rid yourself. Discipline your vision. That's it. So you don't sin with your eyes. That's it. And make sure what you look at, God will be pleased with your vision. That's right. What else? Mortify therefore your members. Go to your hands. God didn't give your hands to steal. God didn't give you hands for you to embrace some man and you a man. God didn't give you hands to join some secret society and advertise their hand signals. That's right. What did he say? Mortify therefore your members. This is detail. Oh yes. Oh yes. Mortify therefore your members. Your members. Which are upon the earth. Which are upon the earth. Mortify your ears. That's right. Don't be nosy. Yeah. That's right. Trying to hear that and being busy body and other people matter. That's right. Mortify your feet. Yeah. That way your feet won't carry your body which is your temple to places where you have no business being. That's right. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. You so-called Christians yeah. that still go to clubs and party in Jesus' name. That's right. Christian women's out there on a the cruise in a bikini in Jesus' name. Yeah. That's right. Bumping and grinding in the club Friday night, Saturday night, and then Sunday on the choir with necks all around your with marks all around your neck and not by your husband. That's right. 
That's right. All right, let's sing. Mortify therefore your members. I see many Muslim women that have the proper headgear on and then tight jeans from waist down. Showing everything you're born with. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If God called for modifying the deeds, that's right. That means the performance of God's creation. That's it. Should be where God Himself cannot find fault that's it. in His creation. That's right. I want to say that's impossible, Pastor Genesis. Oh, no. Oh, no. If you go back to Genesis, the original state of man was clean, holy, spotless, blameless. When God made Adam, there was no sin in the earth. Only when Adam fell. And what brought about his fall was disobedience. That's right. Sin made its introduction and impact into the world. That's right. And men and women been acting like mad dogs ever since. That's right. Are you listening? Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. So God want the entire body, your earthly house, your earthly tabernacle, your temple. That's it. That's to be mortified, mortified, disciplined, governed, ruled. Owned by him. That's it. If God rule you, you can't pick up that cigarette if you submit to the ruling of your boss. That's right. If you submit to God's rule, that's it. You can't pull your clothes off for that man. And you a man? Amen. If the governments of America and the world would submit to God's rule, yeah. there will not be not one bill passed and converted into a law that transgress or blasphemes yes. God's law. That's right. That's right. I had a gentleman write me he said I notice you don't have the American flag in your church no. I don't need that trash in here no. I'm no American patriot no. <laughs> that's right I don't pledge my allegiance to no country that's right that's right. When you pledge your allegiance, that means you give all. America don't deserve all from nobody. No. God's people pledge their allegiance to God, not to no country, not to no government. It's a blasphemous act. It's a blasphemous act. That's right. To stand up and say, I pledge allegiance. That's right. To the flag. That's right. Of the United States of America. That's right. Really? Really? That means you condone what that flag condones. That's right. So you condone same sex marriages because your allegiance is to America. Right. You condone abortion because your allegiance is to America. Yeah. You condone murder. Oh, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. America don't condone murder. Anytime America can invade another country and yet cannot feed the poor people laying in the streets of this country and can go to another country and kill women, babies, and boys, they are murderers. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. If you're going to tell other countries not to have weapons of mass destruction, yet America builds her own arsenal, America is a hypocrite. That's right. That's right. All right, it's hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Are you listening? So you go to war and murder. Murder. 
for America. Yeah. And when you murder in the street, they said you broke law. Yeah. So it's all right to murder long as you do it in the name of the United States. That's right. But when you kill someone, they're breaking your house. You go, you go to jail. That's right. You don't go to jail as long as you murder for Uncle Sam. Yeah. I know many of you don't like this, and you know by now, I don't care if you don't. That's right. If God says, thou shalt not, not kill. kill that's a direct command. direct command. That's a direct order. That's right. That's right. If rape is wrong for a citizen, then rape is wrong for a politician. Amen. If rape is wrong for a black man, yes. then rape is wrong for a white man. That's right. If a black man rape and get life, then a white man that rape should not get a week. Go ahead, brother. That's right. That's why you need God's law. That's it. When you have God's law, you don't have no favoritism. When you have God's law, you have no respect to person. That's right. It ain't no law for white and law for black. It's just God's law. That's it. Hallelujah. Glory. That's it. What is God's law? God's law. God's law is the soul that sinneth. Yeah. It shall die. die. That's God's law. That's right. Here in America, a rich man commit a crime. They say he go to jail. Well, he really go to a country club. That's right. Who plays golf in prison? Huh. Who wear designer suits in prison? That's right. But if a poor man commit the same crime, That's you right. do good if he ever see the light of day again. Oh, yes. So these so-called Christian pulpit bums that are afraid of speaking out against America because they are little prostitutes for America. Amen. And Uncle Sam is the biggest pimp of them all. That's right. And because they work faithfully and loyally to old Uncle Sam. That's right. When Uncle Sam says, I want you. <laughs> Black, white, brown, yellow, every ethnic group. Yeah. Answer the call for old Uncle Sam. That's right. Then our women enrolled in the military and are raped by their commanders and chiefs. Yeah. That's true. They promise you more stripes on your arm. You get more stripes when you open your legs. That's right. My Lord, my Lord. Or they threaten to throw you out the military if you say anything. That's right. So you become a pass around whore. Mm. That's true. For Uncle Sam. That's right. You women that are watching. And you know you was raped in the military? Sue Uncle Sam. Amen. Don't be afraid of Uncle Sam. That's right. If others in the street is penalized for rape, then sue that pimp. That's right. And file charges. That's right. You don't let no captain, sergeant, Drill sergeant, MP, corporal, nobody. Nobody. Use you at will to promise you promotion. That's right. Sue them. Sue them. Out of everything. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. So when you pledge allegiance to the flag, well, you better be know what you're pledging to. Oh, yes. Are you listening? 
Oh, yes. Listen at this. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. Mortify. Mortify. See, these fellas out here ain't preaching this. No, no way. They are afraid. Oh, yes. Especially you churches that have government programs. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with having government programs, but when that tie your hands oh, yes. from telling the truth, you are government slave. That's right. That's right. I ain't going to be a slave to nobody. No. But to God. See, I don't mind being a slave to the Lord. Yeah. That way, if he see the need to beat me, I will accept his beating. Oh, yes. Because he know what to beat me with, when to start, when to stop for my good. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Hear this. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. It takes me long on one statement. Some Mortify statement. the members, your members. Which are upon earth. the earth. Yes. Fornication. Fornication. Uncleanness. Unclean. Inordinate affection. Unusual desires. That's right. Inordinate affection. Inordinate. What kind of man are you hmm. who imagine what it's like to be with your daughter? Imagine what it's like. Inordinate affection. What kind of man are you that imagine what it's like to be with your son? That's right. What kind of man are you that fantasize being with your mama? Mm. Amen. What kind of man are you that fantasize being with the altar boy? That's right. What kind of man are you fantasize being with your imam? My Lord. What kind of man are you that fantasize being with your rabbi? That's right. That's right. Inordinate affection. Religion is one of the biggest masks. One of the biggest cloaks. Oh, yes. Not to speak against sin, but to cover sin. That's right. So they're being raped in churches. Oh, yes. Many young Muslim girls in the Middle East are being sent out like prostitutes. That's right. Why imams collect money. And use the Quran as a book of manipulation like preachers use the Bible as a book for their hypocrisy. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Inordinate affection. Unusual desire. That's right. I go to the zoo. I don't desire no animal. I don't care what them two are doing. I, in good broken English, I ain't turned on. Am I right, Isaac? That's right. So the religion of men is dirty. Oh, yes. And this is why God would never trust no man. Even men that he himself sends, oh, yes. like Abraham, yeah. Moses, spoke to Adam, yeah. Enoch, Jacob, oh, yes. the prophets, the apostles. Yeah. Not one of them was trusted to the degree that God will give any of them permission right. to start a religion. That's right. That's right. You religious scholars. So one of the biggest lies on Abraham. So I pronounce his name Abraham. All right. One of the biggest lies they told on him is Abraham is the father of three religions. Judaism. Christianity. Islam. Yeah. God ain't never trusted Abraham so much. No. That he authorized Abraham to be the father or the originator or the creator of any religion. Any religion. God told man to be holy. That's it. That's it. Holiness has no date. No date. No Holiness date. have no founder. Yeah. Holiness have no beginning. That's right. Holiness have no ending. That's right. Holiness was here before the written Bible was here. That's right. 
Notice what I said. Holiness was here before the written scriptures was here. Written. That's right. Before there was any written book that took on the word Bible or religious book of yeah. any, kind, any kind, holiness was already here. Already That's here. Right. That's right. That's right. For who can be holy other than God? That's right. 